morning and welcome back to uh, YouTube and welcome for the longer versions here. So we're gonna be talking about the state of North Carolina right now. Well, North Carolina we know is a tax deed auction. And remember in a tax deed auction, you're bidding to own the property. But in North Carolina, they have a little twist to it, okay? So what happens there is that all the auctions are held in person in the state of North Carolina. So if you're gonna wanna bid for properties there, you're gonna have to do some traveling. And they're mostly held in front of the local courthouse. So you've gotta make sure you contact your local uh, county tax collector to know exactly when and where the auctions are gonna be held. Now what happens there they usually have a, a, a law firm, an attorney law firm, that will handle the auctions. And they'll ask for everybody to be registered ahead of time. So you'll have to show your driver's license, um, your proof of funds, and um, any, you'll have to probably fill out additional information to be registered as a bidder at the auction. And the auction's very simple at the very beginning. They're gonna start it out at the opening bid, which is usually delinquent taxes, um, penalties, lawyer fees, you know, publication fees for the newspaper and so on. And then what happens there basically is that you could win, okay? It's gonna be whoever pays the highest amount will win at the auction in the state of North Carolina. Now the twist what happens is there is when you actually win, somebody else can go in to the court <laughs> and do an upset bid. They call it an upset bid. So they allow somebody to go in in 10 days and pay a higher amount of money than you. So they say, okay, we're gonna upset you, okay? And uh, what happens there is that they will, they, you have to pay usually a 5%, usually a 5% higher bid than what sold at the auction, okay? So you'll go in there and uh, to the local courthouse and say, I'd like to do an upset bid. You'd have to fill out certain documents, give the cashier's check to the courthouse uh, clerk, and um, they're gonna have to do an upset bid, which is 5% higher, and you fill out the paperwork, and now you're the new um, highest bidder. Somebody else can come in and upset you too, okay? So, and it can go on for a long time, okay? Every 10 days, upset here, upset there, upset there, okay? And it can keep going upsetting. This is why people call it an upset, because you get upsetting. <laughs> anyway, so what happens there at the very end when nobody does do any more bidding, then it will go to the local court or the judge and the judge will basically approve it. Most of the time they'll approve it, okay? And, um, but that's the final thing that will happen. The courts will approve the sale, sign the order, uh, signature that you are gonna be the new owner of the property, okay? So remember, North Carolina's unique that you're gonna have to do your upset. So if you fly down there and you win, doesn't mean you're gonna win, <laughs> you know, but you're also gonna have to make sure that you go down there in person. So follow us here. We got usually some free events coming up, taxsaleseventcom taxsaleseventcom Learn about the tax sales, tax liens, tax deeds, and tax redeemable deeds. So we hope we gave you some good education, knowledge on North Carolina. Welcome to the tax sales. All right, bye-bye now.